Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB Worth Saving 101, and I am KB Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome. I am a lifetime thrifter turned reseller. I currently resell on Poshmark Macari Tradesy. Uh, I started uh, listing on the vintage site shopthrilling.com and I have sent boxes into throw it up. So if you are interested in reseller tips, tricks, haul videos, or sustainable clothing, then do me a favor and hit that like. Hit that subscribe button down below because someday it could really help me out. <laughs> All right, today is my favorite day of the week. It is Thrift Haul Thursday. This is where I go in to my local Goodwills that have a tag for $1. That tag had been half priced all week and then it goes to a dollar. After that, it will actually go to a Goodwill Clearance Center. A lot of people call them the bins. Um, I actually did an experiment this week. I weighed my haul. <laughs> um, I'm always curious. I'm like, I went to the bins. I live in Phoenix, like in the Phoenix area and we do have a, a clearance center near me. Uh, when you go to the clearance center, you don't pay by item, you pay by the pound. Our pound um, per pound is $1.27 per pound. And um, when I go to Dollar Days, you know, if it's a heavy item, for a dollar, I just made out because it could have weighed like three pounds. I mean, so I'm always curious. Today, I actually weighed my haul. Uh, so I'll give you the numbers. So I have 25 pounds, which is 36 items. So if I would have went to the bins, I would have paid $31.75. And uh, instead I paid 35 for these 36 items. For me, I really do uh, enjoy going to Dollar Day instead of going to the bins. I've been there once before I was a reseller and I just, it wasn't for me. There was, I mean, you go to Goodwill and there's a lot of sifting through, a lot of yuck. Well, I just found that there was a lot of yuck. So I have not been back since my first experience. And I just, yeah, I'd rather go to Dollar Days. So let's dive in and see what I found to flip for profit this week. All right, I'm going to start off with, this is a Franco Sarto. Um, and boy, are these things a little dirty on the on the bottom. The black has um, very good wear. Unfortunately, it, you know, shoestring, but I am not going to replace it. Um, great thing is he does put his name of his shoes. So this is a Stephanie and it is a nine and a half and it is a man-made. Uh, so it's like a pleather. Um, but I will clean up these white walls and they will look spanking new. Um, I'm telling you, I know a lot of people will use like the magic eraser or whatnot. Ah, as long as you do not get this on leather, you, do, you can't put it on leather. Um, but I, this makes those white walls come clean very quickly, really super easy. So um, I absolutely love utilizing this. It is the totally awesome, oh, LA's totally awesome laundry pre-wash stain remover. And you get it where? At Dollar Tree or 99 cent only store. So there you go. <laughs> I'll be washing those up and getting those listed. My next, I did go to two different Goodwills. Um, trying to think. Now I can't remember. It's it's been a it's been a long weekend. Um, <laughs> I know I got this pair at the other Goodwill, and I don't know. I'm just gonna go through my haul. I do like to save my best items for last. Um, so stay tuned to the end. Uh, this happens to be a Nike, and they are the Force Savage. Um, I have to do a little bit more Googling because I guess there is more than one, so it depends upon what edition. Um, I did see a pair listed for like 129 on eBay, but I don't know if it's my exact pair. Um, and it says US 13W, but when you pick it up for a buck, I think that's a good buy. Um, they do need a little bit of cleaning, but other than that, they are in really, really good shape. Okay. Now I'm all done with shoes. Ooh, I almost knocked you over that big foot. Okay. I do like to go to belts. <laughs> um, in fact, this week, you guys, I 
started really, 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 um, right at like almost 10 o'clock. I would usually I get there late. Um, but I was really there early and there was a lady already had a cart full. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll start in the belts because I'm always like, I messed up and I got here late. Anyway, um, I love this. This is a Chico's and, um, Chico's, this one has an elastic back. So it stretches to fit, which is fantastic. Let's see if I can read what size it is. It says a medium and it is leather with other man-made materials. And this actually snaps. So you hook it in and you snap it up. But I just love that buckle. Um, and it looks like it is um, a velour. So uh, yeah, there we go. Next item, this one is a vintage. And do I have any info? I don't think I have any. Oh, I lied. Oh gosh, it's so hard to read. This way? Uh, Echo? Made in Turkey. Genuine Italian leather. Um, it has an M with, it actually has like a model number. It has an M, but I don't know if that means it's medium. Uh, I'll have to do some more Googling. But anyway, uh, this one happens to have like this, um, I don't know, etched striping in its leather. I, I, I'm sorry, just lost the wording for it. And, and it's just like one of these little pegs. So, so you pop the peg through the little hole and there you go. Well, you stick that through there too. But yeah, all right, and I picked this one up for a dollar. Um, I might stop picking up this particular brand. I'll just have to wait and see how it goes. I've heard they started selling at Walmart, uh, which kind of depresses me because these bags have always sold very good for me. It's the Big Buddha bag. Um, and anyway, it is uh, this just reptile, uh, animal, snake print, and it has all this pastel coloring. There's some purple and green and um, nice, large, open center. Some, you know, slide in smaller pockets down here, one zipper pocket there, but um, little zip on the back, shoulder bag. So, um, yeah, I have had really good luck. I think I sold one for like 45. Um, so, We'll see how that one goes and we'll see, yeah. I don't know, I guess I'll have to run into Walmart and check out their purses and see. Anyway, all right, now this one happens to be a two piece and um, it is, oh, there it goes, there's the color. It's um, like a midnight blue um, and it is Talbot's size large jacket and size 14 little dress. So this one is like a little crop, um, Bolero uh, with a collar and this dress, size 14, a great size, and it is 100% silk, by the way. Um, it actually has removable straps. So you could wear it as a spaghetti strap or you could wear it strapless. It has a little knot tie over here. And yeah, it's adorable. two pieces, one dollar. Um, because they do actually go together, I will consider actually probably listing that one together. All right, I got this one for the print of it because it is just so stinking cute. This is Stratus by Co... I have no idea who that says. I'll let you guys look at it. I don't, it's really small, but it's Stratus. Um, at least that's what I think. Yes. Status, not stratus, status. Um, but I just absolutely love this print. It is a size extra large, good size. I don't think, um, I will look to see what it is made of. Maybe, maybe. Any tags? I see. Zip on tags. So I don't know what it's made out of, but, um, I mean, it does feel like a silk. It does look like a silk, 
but you know, sometimes it can be a polyester, but I just love, it is sheer, but it has a lining um, and it has sheer sleeves. Like I said, an extra large, all this embroidery, beaded detailing. There is one little tiny rock. He's just kind of dangling, but um, yeah, I'll just note it. All right. Whoops, whoops. Okay, this one is Danny and Nicole, um, size large, and it is new tags. So it is this scoop neck sleeveless, um, almost like a little fit and flare, has an elastic waist in this blue print. Um, does have a back zipper entry. Did I say what size? Large. So new tags, yes please. I, I told you I started listing on um, sh shopthrilling.com. It's all only vintage. So um, I am really stoked about it. I'll let you know how it goes. This one happens to be a vintage Dave and Johnny. Let's see, do I have a size? Probably not. I didn't pay attention, did I? I hate it when I don't pay attention like that. I do like having at least a number size, but, oh wait, 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 wait. I lied, I lied. It says 1112. Um, of course, it's uh, dry clean only, made in the USA, but it is this really super cute spaghetti strap, faux wrap, but, okay, it has 10 inch, look at that. I think it's probably even bigger. I haven't measured it. It's at least a foot of fringe down on the bottom and it starts up here at the waist where it has that mock wrap. So I think that's adorable. Can't wait to get that listed. Um, all items are for sale. You're better off contacting me than waiting for me to get them listed because currently I am working very hard on all of my um, thread up reclaims. So uh, let's see, this one is Worthington. This one is an extra, extra large. And I know Worthington's not that big of a whoopee ding dong, but um, look at this print. And I hate to tell you guys, this color is just not showing up as pretty as what it is. It actually has, where it looks more white is more of like a golden. And there's like a peach and a tan. So I apologize. Um, it has got this little button down the front. Um, elastic waist, little, I don't know, is that flutter sleeve um, with a tie collar and almost like a mock ruffle um, in this gorgeous snake print, reptile print. Do I have pockets? Every dress should have pockets. No pockets. Anyway, um, I love it. I think it will do well just because of the print. All right. This one has got to be a specialty line because, and I haven't looked it up yet, uh, because it's really super, super, super long. Um, it is G-I, L-I, no, yeah, got it, love it. So G-I, L-I, got it, love it. And it says size large, um, and it is this, Sleeveless, scoop neck, elastic waist, no pockets, rumber in this tropical floral print, wide flowy leg rumper. Super cute. It also has slits. Let's see if I can at the bottom. So yeah, that is definitely a fun vacation piece, but um, I will definitely be listing this on um, under tall. And I have noticed that um, any tall items have been doing fairly well for me. So that like petites don't seem to do very well for me, but talls, um, I get a lot of likes, I get a lot of attention and they have sold pretty quickly. So I will be on the lookout for tall. Um, in fact, my next one is a tall. It happens to be, I mean, this is not a brand I would normally pick up, Sag Harbor and it is, what size are you? Uh, let's see, you're 100% polyester, 14 tall. And it is just this, I don't know, more of a boat neck, I think, um, sleeveless. And this would be more, uh, it has darting. It has the darting back in through here, so I would consider it 
um, and darning in through here, more of a sheath and not a shift. Um, maxi, and it does have slits on the bottom. The colors are what sold me. I just love how vibrant they are. Oh, it's only one side slit. One side slit, and yeah, it's beautiful. See the purples and the blues and this like teal green. Ugh. All right, onward. Okay, this one is 100% silk and is Talbot's size 14. There was quite a few vintage um, Talbot's there this last time. Um, and so this one is not uh, dry clean only. Yep, 100% silk. So, um, and it has all this pleated gathering. Um, this is like a, I would call it, I don't know. I would call it a mock wrap, but it's not. Um, not crisscross. Try to think. There is an actual name. Sorry, guys. I'm blanking. Um, <laughs> V-neck. Um, I would put um, cup accentuating uh, design with almost like, yeah, this drop. Um, it's almost like a drop waist, but it angles. So if you can see, that would be kind of like a slimming effect. Um, the back is straight down through here. It does have a back slit and... It is like a midi. So there you go. I love that. I don't know. Ah! I just tore it off the hair. Uh, okay. Next. All right. So this one is a new with tags. I couldn't pass this up. And um, I have to do more Googling. I think this one might be um, vintage. I'm not sure. Um, so it is a size 14. It is Petra. Um, and uh, the price tag is like 188. Uh, new with tags. And again, it is this collarless, which is collarless is supposed to be very in, but it is a crop. Um, again, it would be like a crop bolero jacket in this navy, fully lined. Well, not fully lined. Um, arms aren't lined. Anyway, there you go. All right. This one is a vintage piece. I believe it's 80s. Let's see. It is do, 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 a Talbot size 14 and it is 25% silk. So again, that'll be a nice keyword to add in here. Um, but this is like a velour embossed. I think that's what you say. Embossed. Um, because it's like, I'll have to Google that. Um, and it is a maxi, um, skirt in this print and it has a back zipper entry and a back slit. So yes, good size. Okay. And this one, I don't have a size on. JKLA California and nothing big. Um, oh, and it did have like a little spot on the sleeve. Hey guys, if you're not, dapper wipes are your best friend when you're shopping. Because first off, ah, you can sanitize your own cart, <laughs> sanitize your own hands, um, and not have to use like necessarily the what do you call it? But um, it actually goes through and helps me a lot. This one had a little red mark on the sleeve. And I'm like, uh, otherwise it's in perfect, really super crisp white. I don't have a size on it. I think it's a size large. It's a little big on me. Um, and I have no material tag, but, um, you know, Carnigans, they sell all year long. I freeze my butt off here and I freeze in the summertime going into the stores in Arizona. So they keep the air conditioner so cold that that's when I put wear probably my jackets the most. So here I decided to pick it up, but I just used a diaper wipe and it removed that little stain and there you go. So for a dollar, I'll purchase it. All right. Now this one is the expensive one. It's Alice Plus Olivia, 100% silk, extra small in this lime green uh, spaghetti strap, racer back, uh, swing tank with some, I don't know, 
the neck gathered center. I'll find better descriptive words without actually listing. <laughs> ah, okay, next. All right, this happens to be uh, Angie. I think these are just sold at like uh, Macy's. Uh, this particular brand, it is just 100% rayon. It is a 1X, wonderful size in this wonderful colored, well, split colored, boho, I don't know, uh, bib, baby style, um, tunic dress. So it could be worn as a dress and it could be worn as a tunic. Actually, I lied. I think it's just a dress. If it was shorter, I would list it under tunic along with. Um, so I would put it underneath two different, no slits, no slits, any pockets, no pockets. But like I said, great size. I love the color. It is fun. Should be lost. Okay. On to, this one is just democracy, size small. And I don't know, I was on a fringe kick. It has this fringe, this crochet to fringe to bottom. Um, it's just a sleeveless, um, like open vest, but I just loved the fringe. Did I say it? Small, say small, small, small. All right, that one's for the, yeah. I'll save you, okay, I'll do this one. All right, this one is not a big deal. And I keep debating, guys, I really do. I keep debating on if I'm going to take things over. And I do have such a hard time with that. But um, if I do, this is gonna, this would be, I think maybe one of the items that might go in the box, but I know that I could sell this, not a problem, because it is the sleeveless collared chambray um, corset polka dot uh, shift dress with pockets. And yes, it's by So, which I don't normally pick up. It is a size small, but, um, you know, this is almost like a little pinup style, I would call it. So I think this would do very well. So, so, so. <laughs> All right. This piece happens to be um, another one that is vintage, and you can see these little detailed buttons. Um, it's not showing up quite as yellow. It has a little bit of yellow to it. Yellow is the Patone color. Is it Patone? Patron, no, not Patron's tequila. Okay, <laughs> Patone. I think it's Patone color of the year, which is paint company. Anyway, all right, pockets um, in this plaid, and it's super cute. Back zipper entry and slit. And what size are we? And who are you? Um, OBR. So it is OBR and a size 12. So there you go. Fully aligned. Oh, and do we have any special material within you? Uh, polyester rayon. Nope. But I thought that was cute. All right. This one is new with tags. It's just a very simple, um, very super, super simple. And it is a boost boost size 12. New with tags is one of the reasons why I got it. But um, yeah, little tie waist, um, some beads there. Uh, totally like spandex, poly, was it polyester? What are you made out of? Polyester, spandex, yes. Um, so it's nice and stretchy um, and flowy. There you go. New attack, number one reason. Okay. I picked up another little vintage number. Da, 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 da. It is um, this spaghetti strap, adjustable spaghetti strap, um, ruched. Um, draped bodycon and in a, uh, I'd almost put that as a sweetheart. It makes almost. Anyway, uh, let's see. This happens to be by uh, Rubber Ducky. Never heard of them. Rubber Ducky, you're the one. And it is a medium. So, yes. And it's just black. But bodycons do pretty good and get a lot of attention in my closet. All right, this one, new with tags. It is Zach and Rachel, size extra large, and it is just, you know, a V-neck, sleeveless, flowy, tiered, um, I don't know, that, would you call it a brush stroke print? 
Um, I don't know. Sometimes I just put the word print. Um, anyway, new with tags. Super. Okay. Trying to get these a little bit more back in an order. All right, this one's not no big deal. Um, this one, I don't know. I must have had a brand. I don't know why. Again, this is would this be one of the ones I would take into like Play-Dohs and uh, whatever. It's Derek Hart size medium, and I could say you know my girls would wear something like this. It is this really super. And this color is so pretty. It has this little mock tie with some tassels, um, elastic waist, um, pull on off the shoulder romper in a size medium, and it just feels really nice. Do you have pockets? Oh, do you? No, no pockets. Gosh, you know, I swear it would sell. <laughs> Can you tell? I would be like, pockets. All right, let's see. All right, um, Fashion Nova gets a lot of attention in my closet. And since this is kind of in a style of a Fashion Nova, um, I picked this up. It is adorable. It is like this crew neck. Um, and if you can see, uh, cut out, sleeveless, again, another cut out the waist, a fit and flare in this leopard, an exposed back zipper. It is by Love Nikki Lou. Never heard of them. Size medium. But like I said, that both brands get a lot of attention. I get a lot of sales from them. So I'll stick with it. Next. Um, I picked this one up because um, I do have a thing for punkers and I used to be one. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, it is a, it's called Black Swan size medium. It is this lace choker style um, illusion ruffled shift dress with a little, I don't know, do you call it a peplum when it's that low? I'd have to Google what I call this little. And it's in a lace. But um, yeah, I've got a thing for, you know, the rockers, the punkers. All right, this one, again, I got, because my girls absolutely love this brand. And um, I'm like, maybe I don't have enough of it. Have you ever noticed that? When you're listing your items, if you have like only one item, and it's American Eagle. Maybe I don't have enough American Eagle. So I decided I was gonna pick up some more um, and see if that helps move my American Eagle along because uh, it doesn't do very well for me. American Eagle Outfitters, size small, and it is this like army green with pockets, button down, drawstring, racer back, netted, um, little uh, romper. So, yeah, really super cute. We'll see if that helps. All right, let's see. I got you because of the print of it. So we'll do you and that one and that one and that one. I think that's good. All right, so let's see. This is just connected apparel. This one does have a paper tie. So let's see, do you say? Made in the USA. So it is considered vintage. Um, if you don't know, paper tags, yes, and that's usually before the 80s or in the 80s. Um, and made in the USA is a big tall tale sign that it is a vintage item because a lot of companies left in the 80s. So, um, but this is, are you silk or anything? I didn't even look. I was so excited to say, yeah, no, it's polyester. Polyester, but I got it for the print of it. It is, ah, oh, these colors are gorgeous. I'm so sorry they're not showing up as fantastic as what they actually are. And it is just this like, I don't know, I guess I'd have to put it as a midi because it comes up in the front because it shows your shins and it has this little ruffle down here, but it is just super pretty. I just love the colors on this. Island, tropical, vacation, take me away. All right, here we go. That one, that one, that one. This one just happens to be a Lane Bryant size 26, 28, 
Um, great size, and I got it for the print of it, guys. Look at this. Again, the colors aren't showing up as fantastic. There's that, That's like a turquoise in there. Um, very, I don't know, I'm probably going to put... Uh, Native, what a, I'm blanking on what I would, um, Southwest, um, because of this print in through here. So, um, yes, but this is like a beautiful maroon and the colors just, this is like a burnt orange with the maroon accents are not coming across as pretty as what they are. Shark bites, um, flutter sleeve, well, split flutter sleeve, uh, mock crisscross, uh, tunic top so yes gorgeous all right this one I got this one and this one happens to be a Chico's a size 2 um, it is a duster um, and it has the hook and latch closure um, I do have to clean it up a little bit sleeveless this is just it's very heavy it's definitely going to be the best place to sell it would be on Poshmark because it's going to be two pounds. And you know what that means? If you are utilizing any other um, platform, two pounds, you're at like $10. Um, it does have a few little pulls that um, I'm going to go through and clean up. And they're not anything major. They're just surface. Um, and it'll be in mint condition. But it almost is like this um, metallic uh, gun metal, uh, yeah, I, for some reason I'm starting to think of like knights, <laughs> probably because it's so heavy, it should be like a chain link, ah, all right, next, all right, when I go into the stores, guys, I do still utilize, um, I don't get good reception, I don't know about you guys, but my Goodwills, I get crud for reception when it comes to the internet, so looking on the internet is not the easiest thing for me to do. So I actually utilize ThreadUp's app because I actually get the service more often. I don't even get Poshmarks, but I do get ThreadUp's. Figure that one out. Anyway, so I like to Google all my brands that way and find out um, if they're worth any good money. Um, because like this one, I, I mean, it's adorable. I'm going to tell you it's adorable. It's 100% cotton. It is sleeveless button-down collared fit and flare just absolutely cute but could I leave it I mean if it's not a brand worth any money do I have to bring it home um, when I googled it it is fashion on earth and like their dresses are like valued at like over 100 some up there so and it's a size medium so I'm like anything valued that high definitely worth a shot I mean everything's worth a shot but you guys I really should have like a contest for myself um, a challenge that I'm only allowed to bring home like 10 items because I have so many items to actually list but I, I do I love them all and I don't want to miss these these are the ones I just like okay maybe I could have passed up but my goal with this pink thing and this green thing is you know brand um, sizes bring in that kind of traffic I already have like I said I I've got the, I got the sexy traffic going on <laughs> um, with the Fashion Nova. But anyway, um, I'm going to keep moving, keep moving. I get a little chattery. I'm so sorry. If you guys got any comments, please leave them down below. I wish you could all talk back. Maybe I should do a live. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I trust myself doing a live. <laughs> but it would be fun. I think we'd have to have wine. All right. Anyway, this is um, a crew. And again, um, it's a size medium, and it is this like high low maxi in this beautiful camel color, and it has this um, little tie um, accent. Um, it feels marvelous, and it just looks gorgeous. Well, I'm like, man, I've never heard of this company. Um, I just looked it up, and yeah. Like their dresses or their dresses, their skirts were like at 200. I have no idea where they're sold at. I will do more Googling, but um, actually, I hate to tell you this. This is one of the pieces I got to try on. So <laughs> it's probably mine. All right. But na 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 na. It's beautiful. No. <laughs> okay. This one is. Uh, 
cannot hold it. Let's see, who are we? We are Banana Republic Heritage. Um, it is a size medium, but, um, and it looks older. And I don't know, uh, it doesn't have a paper tag or anything, but I picked it up because of the look. Let's see, um, oh, well, next year it'll be 10 years old, uh, fall of 12. So this was a um, nice thing about Banana Republic. They do put their actual dates on there, which is great. Um, but I picked it up because it is 36% wool, 28% um, nylon, 27% viscose, and 9% cashmere. So the wool cashmere, I think viscose is a natural fabric too, if I remember correctly, or um, ingredient. What do you call it? I am blanking. Textile. All right. All right. Let's just keep going. So um, it is a size medium, but it also is this like scoop neck legging look um, and, uh, with pockets. And I could put this under, you know, short sleeve. Um, I could put this under tunic. I could put it on a sweater. Um, I could put it on a dress. So I will list it under all three categories. And when I do that, it is so simple because I just do a cut and paste copy and paste sorry so i copy i do my first listing i copy it i go through and i list now the next time i don't even have to do that that's what i use for when i put it on trade c and macari when it's poshmark and i'm going to relist all i have to do is hit um edit go down to the bottom and hit copy and then change the um actual you know dress top sweater whatever I'm changing on it and relist it. Um, now if I, can, I have to remember that there's more than one of them listed that way that I need to delete all when they sell. So um, in fact, I'm starting to think that what I'm going to do is in my actual listing, I will put how many listings I have of that one. <laughs> but it gets more eyes and you'll, you never know where something is actually going to sell more often than not. Um, I have a lot that still underneath swimsuit cover-ups. Now, I don't think they're necessarily swimsuit cover-up material, but that's just how I describe them, and that's where they do the best. So, all right, moving along. I believe this is my best piece. I'll have to do some more Googling. Um, some of her pieces can be, I don't think this is one of them, but um, very sought after. It is a Betsy Johnson size six, and um, it is just this floral uh i always hate this i want to call this more of a crew not a scoop um you guys tell me what you think would you call that more of a scoop or would you call it a crew i know crew is a little bit closer but i don't feel like it's like down enough for it to be called a scoop and i always go mm, and i usually listen on a scoop anyway uh it is like a little these are like little uh cap short sleeves and it is a sheath dress in this gorgeous floral print it is a black back so letter 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 um back exposed zipper and little back slit so yes i believe we'll see i've not sold her before i don't really find her so but i was ecstatic because i know some of her pieces can be very sought after there you go that is my haul for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you come back and see me again. Remember, all items are for sale. Please, all my information is down below. Don't forget, as you're leaving, hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next week, guys.